Hey guys, welcome back to another G-Shock video on my channel. Today we are going to have a closer look at one of the collaborations that I really really like. It's between a fashion label out of New York called Mishka and uh, with G-Shock. So let's get started. First, let's have a closer look at the box itself. Right, it's got the uh, special box for this collaboration. And the word keep watch is featured uh, alongside of the box here. And this is a tagline that you'd see uh, when you actually go to uh, Mishka's website. And uh, it's pretty much uh, prominent, uh, uh, prominently mentioned all around the uh, clothing, uh, clothes as well. Okay, let's see here. The model number for this particular release is DW6900MISH19-1PRN uh, The module is 3230 This particular uh, collaboration was released about 6-7 months ago It was released uh, during the Halloween of 2019 So I've had it for a few months now and, uh, and I really really like it so I thought like, well let's do a quick video Okay, now let's unbox it and have a quick look at what we get on the inside. As soon as I unbox it, you sh you will definitely see that this collaboration is way different compared to any other collaboration that G-Shock has done before. All right, so the, the watch itself sits within the case, the special case that's in the shape of an eyeball so this motif the eyeball motif is prominently featured on uh, mishka's website as well it's uh, pretty much on all of their uh, clothes wares as well okay let's put that aside let's see what else do we get on the inside of this package so there's some protective foam over here put it there and then the box actually makes up the base for this particular case okay all right so within the box as usual i'm expecting to see the uh, paperwork and whatnot so <clears throat> uh, you have got the manual so this one the manual is going to be in uh, chinese uh, this was uh, when i got it it was exclusively released in china okay so there you go uh, other than that, it's just the receipts over there. Okay, I'm going to put that inside. Okay, now let's have a closer look at the main case of this collaboration. All right, so some of the uh, standard features that, uh, of this particular case is all of these veins that you see over here. Uh, they're not flat you can actually uh, if you get closer you'll be able to see that uh, uh, you can actually feel them all around this particular uh, case and the eyeball itself this entire section is uh, it, it's made of out of glow in the dark material so uh, it looks really nice uh, when kept in the dark space and then you can actually see through in the middle uh, the watch it's uh, the watch itself so uh, let's get inside and see how it looks like all right it's pretty simple the packaging on the inside itself again the model number is mentioned over here On the front, the basic, uh, so shock resistant, 200 meters, water resistance and EL backlight. What makes it slightly special is the design of the this watch itself and the band and the strap, right? Let's have a closer look at how this looks like. You can see here, this is unlike any other collaboration that we have seen before. So the motif, the eyeball motif, again, is seen pretty clearly on the bands of this as well and it has got a really good quality as well in terms of the print slightly different than many other prints that i've seen so far uh, on the other side of the band also you know uh, graffiti style as well over here 
let's have a closer look uh, on the back uh, this particular model the buckle is casio thailand and the back case so this one is a dw 6900 fs model which means uh, it's fully cased in japan that's what it says over here japan y uh, model 3230 and i really like the engraving of the eyeball again on the back case here it's it's really deep and uh, you can actually feel it All right stainless steel back and other than that it looks pretty standard uh, at the back of this particular uh, case back all right so in terms of uh, features okay what else we can see from the front of the watch itself again the mishka logo or the wording itself is mentioned at the top and then uh, the entire watch is green uh, the the the, uh, the lcd is in green color uh, it's made in such a way to mimic the glow in the dark feel but the watch face itself does not none of these watch parts here actually glow in the dark um, the backlight for this particular watch is green in color and it's very very bright so uh, actually the 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 lcd green light green lime green lcd with the black color uh, wordings uh, is very contrasting and it's very easy to see this particular uh, watch when you're wearing it wearing it outside in the sun all right so that is one of the things that i uh, realized about this particular watch okay apart from that everything else seems to be uh, pretty basic for for a 6900 uh, series watch so uh, the things that we have is we have got alarm timer stopwatch and back to home time uh, and yeah so that is pretty much it guys so this is how the entire watch looks like it's a very cool design it's something that sits on your if it's if if you are a collector this is a must have for you because it's gonna look really pretty on your collection it's gonna sit like this and uh, yeah you can actually see through in the center of this particular uh, case you, although not very clearly but yeah you can see through just like that okay so now let's have a close-up look of the watch and the case and i'll catch you guys again shortly guys enjoy the close-up video for this particular watch so when i got this watch during the launch day it cost me approximately 990 rand maybe which is around 140 us dollars obviously now with the time has passed for the past six months the price has been steadily growing it is fetching quite a premium in the resale market right now uh, if you are interested in getting this watch, it's still available and uh, you can search for this particular code number DW6900MISH19 
then you'll be able to find quite a bit of uh, sellers. In fact, there, there are one or two retailers still selling this particular watch at slightly higher premium. One of the things that you want to keep an eye out for this particular watch when you get it, this case seems to be made out of uh, plastic or mixture of fiberglass and uh, it feels quite fragile. Uh, I've seen uh, a few different uh, samples where the, the, the buyers actually ha have had chipped uh, case at the edge uh, of these two pieces over here. So you might want to keep out for that. Apart from that, I don't really have any other complaints for this particular watch. If you ask me, in my opinion, this is a very pretty, very special watch for you to keep as part of your collection. So do consider getting it. Do let me know in the comments if uh, if you guys really like this watch or is it really too much of uh, design on the bands and the strap that uh, you don't really like it. So till I see you guys again, I'm going to leave you with a cool G-Shock trivia at the end of this video. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really does help guys. And thank you so much for all your support. I'll catch you guys again in another G-Shock video really soon. Till then, see ya.